So now that this, uh, this wall's all finished and the units are on, um, what I'm going to do is, is try and look at the, uh, the units we're putting on the other walls and get those cleaned and uh, tidied up and mounted so that I'm not working over the top of any of the base units. Um, they've been in storage down in the, in the cellar for quite a while so they're a little bit dusty and, uh, and grimy so give them a good clean off and then we'll see how, uh, how they look.
So while we're uh, while we're polishing and bringing the rest of the units up to up to the sort of colour that we want, Jonathan's been giving us a hand, haven't you? Yeah. What did you do? I've done this one behind us. Yeah, you helped polish, didn't you? Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. You're very good at it. Yeah. Mm. Um, Are you going to do the rest of them? It's a bit like Karate Kid, I isn't might, it? I might do. What do you do? Polish on, wax yeah. on, wax off. Wax on. It's all that. If it was okay. only that easy. <laughs> so, so the next step is now to well, get, we're this, get one this, the wall. this wall one up. Um, mm. We won't know how the colour shades really fit in with everything else until we get it up, because mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit in the in the shadows over there. Yeah. Um, now we've got patterns on the wall, so I've um, I've had a quick check, and it looks like we're going to hit them with the tops of parts, which is good. good. So it means it won't fall off. Um, good. So, no time like the present, really. Um, no, I, think, I think it's time for Jonathan to supervise and, and just to direct, and we'll get this uh, get this up on the wall. And first one, super. Yeah, yeah. First mm -hmm. of the uh, first of the mm -hmm. sort of fixed units to go up. Mm -hmm. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, let's get Fingers crossed it, it fits. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it will. <laughs> I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Mm -hmm.
So here on this wall, um, the idea was we were going to take this unit um, and adjust this end a little bit. We've got a drawer and a door on a, on a unit we're using somewhere else um, over, in the, over in the family room. Um, and we were going to pull it out, cut and carve them, bit, do a bit of a, a, a cut and shut. Um, and, and pin, and pin something on the end of here, another drawer, and uh, a door unit. Uh, and then we're going to have this sort of angled unit, put it up on the end like that, and, and then make another one, uh, similar to that, with whatever bits we've got left to go on this end. Um, so, new unit to build, this corner, this, this corner one to um, do a little bit of feathering with and a couple shot on it. So quite a bit of work but we were quite happy that that's the way we were going to go until I um, started taking the, the old island unit apart um, this morning and uh, had a bit of a, an epiphany really, um, sort of a light bulb moment. Um, talked it through with Tracy and um, we sort of We've come to a compromise where she had half an idea, I had half an idea, and in the end it seems like a good forward. So instead of using this, we're going to not use this at all, just um, throw that away basically, we won't be using it. That comes all spare. This is the end of one, of the, uh, of one end of the island unit, and if we take the second post off, this will actually fit across the end of there, um, with a sort of bit of trim on, it's going to look fantastic because it will blend in with the other units that we've got, um, so that's going to look great, so that was my idea, we've got another one of these to go on this end, so that would finish it off without having to, to make a new uh, triangular unit. Then, Tracy had a bright idea, absolutely fantastic of reusing the draw part of the island unit um, and instead of cutting this and putting a little uh, draw cupboard unit on we'll put a wider um, unit of drawers in. Uh, now that will fit because Tracy was looking for somewhere to dump shoes and things and the bottom drawer is, well here it is the bottom drawer is a, is a good old size, so you can imagine that there. Smelly shoes, sling them in, forget about them. Great idea. So, I'll show you the island unit, and um, it's still a bit of work, but not as much as it would have been in the uh, with the first idea. So this is the island unit, I've taken the uh, marble off the top, which uh, sounds a lot easier than it actually was I must admit, um, but we've taken that off and what we've got is this three drawer unit, um, it's a little bit too wide but I can soon cut that down because all the strengths at the front in the frame so uh, there's no problem with that. We've got this other little section that's going to go on the far end of the unit inside. So that needs to come off anyway so I can cut it down. So a little bit of work but um, this unit's already made. The one that's inside as you've seen is already made. Just need to take this back leg off and it'll fit uh, absolutely perfectly. Um, cut the, cut the, uh, the depth of this down a little bit and this unit can go straight in um, and, and bolt, basically bolt onto the one that, uh, that's already in there. So it'll fill that wall a little bit more. Um, and Tracy gets the drawers or, or storage area for, uh, for putting shoes and, and, and uh, slippers and stuff in. So we'll see what it eventually gets used for, but uh, I must admit it's a li little bit less work for me. Most of this is already made. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of sort of playing about with it. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm sure it's going to come together really well.
Well, kitchen's starting to come along now, my dear. It is, yeah. We, uh, moving fast forward, to be honest, and um, we've got a couple of Halloween bits to go in, so I'm hoping to have it done for the end of... December? Next month. <laughs> okay. That would be good. <laughs> well, the way things are going, mm. we uh, we struggled a little bit with layout. Yeah. Not being really happy with what we had. Yeah, we changed. Mm. well, obviously the kitchen wasn't made for us, but... No, we managed to uh, fill most of the walls, but one was a problem, yeah. wasn't it? And yeah, then, uh, we're sorted now. We've juggled all the units about a little bit um, and actually got it. Like, I, I really like the way it is now. Well, the drawers out of the uh, island unit were an absolute uh, brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah. Because so that, that was going to be a real pain for me to mix to. and match mm -hmm. those, that end. Yeah. So it's it's come really good and I'm sure the uh, mm -hmm. when we get everything waxed up and, uh, and fixed to the wall. I think so. It, it's it's going to really look good. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. uh, and the gas bottle that um, that was made from four bits of different units all cut down. Yeah, it is a bit Same of Frankenstein kitchen, isn't it? But it looks well. Fantastic. That's come together, and that's yeah. with well, that screwed on the wall now. It really that, is. That corner's set mm. off. We can we can sort of yeah. get the cooker placed and and the rest of that unit Everything finished. In. Yeah. So there's I'd, I'd say another couple of weeks and work hopefully we we'll, yeah yeah that that's the biggest issue now is what what worktops we do. We don't know whether to go with wood. Or would, like it, a would it be good if we could surface? find the right stuff and mm -hmm. and find the right uh, the right way of, yes, of finishing if, it? Like we want wood for the work surface. So if anyone has any ideas of what we can do to protect it, because that's our struggle at the moment, isn't it? Is is how to we protect don't want the it wood. All watermarked yeah. And so if anyone's done it before and they know, just give us a shout on on what we can use and what to do. Yeah. We would like. Um, I think it would be wood. good because then we can decide mm. the colour. Mm. Um, as we go along yeah so that that's the next step but yeah it's, it's fantastic absolutely right well i think uh, mm -hmm. i think i'm having a day off to uh, do a little bit of shadow work there's a bit oh, of yeah, there's yeah. a bit of uh, a yeah. bit of dog doing wants a little doing. bit extra today paula's coming on so mm. <laughs> uh, she she needs something to do so yeah. I, i've been drafted in to do a little bit of uh, carpentry Absolutely. well uh, yeah. bodging really yeah we're going to <laughs> yeah <laughs> Come on, then. right okay then let's uh, let's get on and mm -hmm. um and uh, that's us for, for another week. Mm-hmm. Onward and upward. It is. Lead the way. <laughs> If you'd like to join us on our family journey, bring them back this once forgotten chateau, then please join us on Patreon for behind the scenes footage, updates, live chats, and your very own piece of the chateau.